The United Kingdom, once a titan of industry and global trade, finds itself at a crossroads. The echoes of its industrial might still resonate through the annals of history, from the roaring factories to the bustling ports that once dominated global commerce. While the UK remains a major economic power, alarm bells are ringing. Growth has slowed and the once thriving high streets now show signs of struggle. The financial district, though still influential, faces unprecedented challenges. Comparisons with the European Union and the United States are increasingly unfavorable. The bustling activity in European and American cities contrasts sharply with the UK's current economic landscape. Stock exchanges in the EU and US show resilience and growth, while the UK grapples with stagnation. The question on everyone's mind is the UK falling behind. Business leaders express concern and economists debate the underlying causes. News headlines frequently highlight the economic issues facing the nation, adding to the growing sense of unease. To understand this complex issue, we must delve into the numbers, examining key indicators like household income, productivity and the overall health of the economy. By analysing these trends, we can gain insights into the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead for the UK. Only through a comprehensive understanding can we hope to address the pressing question, is the UK truly falling behind or is there a path forward to reclaim its former glory? Welcome to Rich Insider. If you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel to not miss any of our latest updates. In fact, recent headlines have revealed a shocking reality for the UK. According to reports, the UK's economic struggles are now so severe that it's falling behind Mississippi, one of the poorest states in the US. Even more surprising, countries like Poland and other Eastern European nations are catching up or surpassing the UK in terms of income and quality of life. How did Britain reach this point? Come, let's find out if this is true and uncover why the UK is losing ground globally. So, how much money are the British families actually bringing in? When we compare the UK to its peers, a sobering picture emerges. The average household income in the UK lags behind that of the US and several EU countries, including Germany and France. This gap in earnings has real consequences. It means less disposable income for families, impacting their quality of life and ability to save for the future. Productivity, simply put, is how efficiently we work. It's about producing more with the same resources. And it's here that the UK faces a particularly stubborn challenge. Productivity growth in the UK has been stagnant for years. Meanwhile, countries like Germany and the US have seen steady gains, meaning their economies are becoming more competitive. This productivity gap is a major concern as it directly impacts economic growth and ultimately our standard of living. Gross domestic product or GDP is a measure of the size and health of an economy. It represents the total value of all goods and services produced over a specific time period. But there's a catch. We need to distinguish between nominal GDP, which doesn't account for inflation, and real GDP, which does. Nominal GDP is calculated using current prices, so it can be misleading during periods of high inflation. Real GDP, on the other hand, is adjusted for inflation, providing a more accurate picture of an economy's true growth. The UK has experienced high inflation in recent years, which erodes the value of our money. Inflation affects the cost of living, making everyday goods and services more expensive. This can lead to a decrease in consumer spending power, impacting overall economic growth. This means that while nominal GDP might seem to be growing, Real GDP, which reflects the actual purchasing power of our economy, tells a different story. According to Statista, as of the second quarter of 2024, the real GDP of the United States grew by 2.8% from the first quarter of this year. The European Union also shows signs of growth, with forecasts of a 1.4% increase in real GDP in 2024 while the UK government just reported a mere 0.2% growth in real GDP in the three months to August 2024, compared with the three months to May 2024. This is definitely not a good sign for the UK's economy and its people. By examining real GDP, we can better understand the true state of economic health and make more informed decisions about fiscal and monetary policies it's crucial to look beyond the surface numbers to grasp the real impact of inflation on our economy. In today's world, the concept of purchasing power is more relevant than ever. While inflation is rising, 
Wage growth in the UK is not significant, thereby leading to a reduced purchasing power. For instance, wages in the United Kingdom grew by approximately 4.9% in August 2024, although when adjusted for inflation, wages only grew in real terms by 1.9%. Imagine you have a £10 note. This simple piece of paper holds the promise of value, but what can you buy with it today compared to five years ago? The difference is stark. Chances are you can buy less. On the other hand, the inflation rate in the United States has not exceeded the rate of wage growth since January 2023. This means people in the US have more money left in their wallets despite increased cost of living. And it's a problem that has hit the UK particularly hard. The economic landscape is shifting and not for the better. As a result, people in the UK are finding it increasingly difficult to maintain their standard of living, even if their wages have increased slightly. The rising cost of living means that any wage increase is quickly swallowed up by higher prices for goods and services, especially families are feeling the pinch and the stress of managing household finances is becoming more pronounced. The reality of purchasing power is a daily struggle for many, highlighting the urgent need for economic solutions that address inflation and its far-reaching effects. London, a global financial hub, shines brightly on the world stage. It contributes significantly to the UK economy, but this economic powerhouse also casts a long shadow. There's a growing disparity between London's prosperity and the economic realities faced by other parts of the UK. This imbalance can lead to resentment and a sense that the benefits of economic growth are not being shared fairly. Looking across the Atlantic, we see a different model. The US economy, while not without its flaws, benefits from multiple economic centers. Silicon Valley, New York and Texas each boast thriving industries, creating a more balanced and resilient economy. Could the UK learn from this example? Could fostering growth in regions beyond London be the key to unlocking the nation's economic potential? The challenges facing the UK economy are significant. Stagnant productivity, rising inflation and a widening gap between London and the rest of the country demand attention. But it's not all doom and gloom. The UK possesses a highly skilled workforce, a strong entrepreneurial spirit and a proud history of innovation. Addressing these economic issues will require bold action, long-term thinking and a willingness to embrace change. The UK stands at a pivotal moment. Will it rise to the challenge, implementing policies that boost productivity, control inflation and create a more balanced economy? Or will it continue to fall behind its competitors, watching as its economic might fades? The answer to this question will determine the future prosperity of the nation and the well-being of its citizens for generations to come. So what are your thoughts on the economic conditions of the UK? Let us know your opinions in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.